In news from the Middle East, the Israeli military shot and killed a 15-year-old boy in southern Gaza today during a protest near the fence with Israel. Palestinians in the Gaza Strip have been protesting since March 30th, under the banner of the Great March of Return. According to health officials in Gaza, Israeli forces have killed at least 173 Palestinians and wounded over 18,000 people since the beginning of the protests. Meanwhile, in Gaza City, employees of UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine, protested Wednesday against job cuts. UNRWA is reducing jobs following the Trump administration's cut to all funding of the agency. This is Amal Albash, deputy chair of the Union of Palestinian Employees at UNRWA in Gaza. Gaza needs a lot of help because of the siege and the sanctions. They have no solutions for Gaza. They are blackmailing us politically. They want Gaza to give up politically or there will be no solutions. Because of this, UNRWA as an organization is being punished. And we, as Palestinians and refugees, are being punished in Gaza so that we will give up. 